Things is messed up. Lincoln, you look like a Power Ranger. We're a family of seven who decided to travel the world one month at a time. Chris, Leslie, Lucy, Grant, Lincoln, Harrison, and Grace. Now, we're the seven wayfinders. All right, Luce, what are you doing? Getting my hair braided. <laughs> Which you have done how many times before? Like 10 times. <laughs> Not that many times. Do you remember when you did this on the cruise? Oh my <laughs> Didn't you like come back crying? Yeah. <laughs> that was in Jamaica, right? Yeah, because it hurt. We have time. I'm going to get a couple too. Check out this beautiful beach. All right, Lucy Lou. Show us the final product. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. <laughs> All right. So now it's mom's turn. <laughs> Hair braided. Mommy's got like the hidden, the hidden flare, and Lucy's got the full-on beauty. <laughs> how you doing? Hey, how you doing? We are enjoying a quiet moment while the boys wrestle with each other in the pool. Which is so awesome. There's a moment when your boys are big enough to wrestle with each other and not clobber their dad every second of the day. Go get him. <laughs> Remember, he gets sick, Dad. He's not a spinner. I actually went to a parenting class, and she said just leaving boys alone teaches them everything they need to know. They learn empathy when they get hurt. They learn the limit of how far they can go without hurting each other. <laughs> and then they learn how to help each other when they do hurt each other. But she was like, unless there was serious blood or broken bone, I just left it alone. And she had seven boys. <laughs> it was amazing. She has pretty amazing boys too. We know some yeah, of them. So we know some of them awesome. now as an adult and they're right. highly successful. Shout out to Dave. <laughs> yeah. Love you Dave. Speaking of the boys, we took them and decided to embrace the man bun in Bali. We're getting haircuts. We're embracing the man bun. Yeah, at we the are. barber shop. This is the barber shop. Here yes. we go. Yes. Haircut. Yeah, you totally are, bro. Get an awesome haircut. Grant, do I really have to do this? <laughs> yes, Grant. You belong to us until you're 18. We actually have a deed, Grant, that we have to give you when you're 18. Isn't All that right, right, Lucy? Check out that man bun. Woo! -hoo! Hey, don't make fun of him. I love it. Well, I love it. He doesn't quite can't tell the Come difference. Here. Feel the buzz when your eyes found mine In the dark of the club In the flash of the lights It might be a cross Looking good, Lincoln. I think you might have to get a treat tonight because you've been so good. If you boys are good. They are going to look so adorable. It's going to be awesome. Just think, if they keep this all the way to college, they will have full man buns. And me and Lucy, Grace all the way to college, honey, up. they'll have man buns in just a bit. I know, but if they Their keep it fast. till then, then guess what we can do? All of us can wear buns on our heads, like me and Gracie and Yeah, Mom me too. Did. Just go get a wig. No, I'm not going to wig. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. It's so much hair. Grant, you're looking awesome, buddy. Doing good, Harry. Yeah, Harry, looks so Harry looks great. <laughs> Grant, you look awesome. Yeah, man. Look at me, Grant. Lincoln's is messed up. Lincoln, you look like a Power Ranger. They are not fans yet. Well, uh, they go back and forth. They yeah. like it and they like where it's going, but they don't like that it's not long enough quite yet. So Chris showed him a picture of like the long man bun where it's shaved, but then you can do this. Um, in the back, and right now we can only do the like the pixie, the pixie bun, and they don't love that. Got a little candle top. <laughs> we made it to church for the first time in Bali. It's our first Sunday in Bali, and we're going to attempt to find church. It looks on Google Maps like it's like a strip mall, and we're just gonna try and take some taxis, I guess. So, wish us luck. I could 
Okay, we're looking. <laughs> Hope we will find it. Okay, we made it. We found it. Thanks to our driver <laughs> and other people helping us find it. How is it, Lucy? I just like when it's small because it's so What do you think, boys? Uh, I think. What do you think of church? That and glass. Uh huh. And I like. What's cool is we were able to take the taxi driver and they kind of act as tour guides and companions and I'll guide you here and there. They're basically like, hey, I'll be your buddy and they're pretty cheap. So Yeah, they basically stay with you all day. If you want. Well, even if you don't want, they're kind of like, ah. how will you get back? <laughs> like, the first time we were like, oh yeah, we need to be dropped off here. He was like, how will you get back? And so we'll find a taxi. <laughs> he was like, no, no, no. I wait for you. And that's when we learn they're just your default tour guide. Like they'll take you anywhere on the island. They all know all the same spots. They all have the same little book in their car of all the hot spots. And getting to church was great because they'd basically take us and then wait. Grant! They also get out of hand pretty easy. Exactly. Uh, anyways, so church is fun. The the, uh, they call it a branch here because of how small it is. The branch is phenomenal and we love the people there and they were really nice and kind. And the services were in both English and Indonesian. Indonesian. Is, so it, then is it called Basa? I think it's, Basa. I think it's called Basa, yeah. Anyways, so that was really, really good. So then after church, we boys were just melting down and we had to go out to eat. And we've noticed the restaurants are mega slow in Bali. Like, if you're the kind of person that wants to spend three hours at a restaurant, you're gonna love Bali. For us, no. Yeah, because we didn't have any food. So we told our driver, hey, we need some fast food. He was like, there's nothing fast except Chinese food, which we can't really eat for gluten reasons. So we said, look, we just need you to help us find something fast. We love Indian. So we drive up to this little Indian restaurant. He gets out, you know, and we can see him like pointing at the car. And all of a sudden he comes back, he goes, you're good. And we were like, okay. So we walk in and no joke, they were serving us and hand feeding all of our children within about seven minutes. I know. He basically, we asked him what he said later, and he's like, I basically told them they can help feed you fast or we're going to go somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, I'm going to take my customers somewhere else. <laughs> we were like, wow, we need to do that everywhere. Wish that could happen all the time. We've just learned that takeout is a great option for us, and it still is over an hour to get your food. I know, I know that the three hours seems like an exaggeration. It, it is not. No, it is not. You start dinner at six, you're not done till nine if you're sitting in these restaurants. It just is like incredible how slow they go. But it's still nice and it's good. It's and really it's, good. It's a little bit more of a laid back culture. Yeah. We also went for a fish spa pedicure with Grant on my date. Okay, here's the fish spa. I am actually the third wheel on a date. Yes. He's the third wheel on our date. On this cute date here. <laughs> I'm just extra baggage. <laughs> part of our date. Oversized. Part of our date was parasailing, but this is the other part. And we decided to get a fish pedicure and a foot massage. Thank you. Hey, Grant. Maybe it can be my date. And you can go home. Just me and No! No, Dad. You think he's serious? He would if Look he, at me. he wanted him to. <laughs> Look at me. I'm just joking. He's I'm just, just joking. Teasing. You're supposed to say no, Dad. Say, get off my date, Dad. That's what Come you're on, supposed to say. Come on, say it. Say it. Get off my date, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you're so, so forthright with that. Okay, so you put your feet in with the fish and they eat all your dead skin. This is kind of a big thing. My I've, foot went missing. I've done it one other time in Mexico and it felt awesome, but the fish weren't very hungry because it was like mega busy. So I'm <laughs> hoping this one is busier. Oh, check it out, Grant! Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> I love it. Does it tickle, Grant? It feels Sorry. weird. Oh my goodness, look, they all left you. It came to me. Just hold still, they'll come back. This is awesome. <laughs> oh look, Grant, they're going to dad now. It tickles. <laughs> what do you think, dad? Oh, it's so weird. It feels so awesome. It's like so cool. It kind of feels weird. like um, bubbles. It feels like bubbles running over your feet. Let me tell you a story about Grant. Grant was little, he would chase Lucy around quietly, no matter what. We would ask Lucy where Grant was, and all we had to do was look about two feet back, and there he was, tailing after Lucy. Like a little magnet. Like a little magnet. Not much has changed, <laughs> just their size. Grant used to also do anything Lucy asked. There were a few times he came down in a dress Daddy put a stop to that immediately. Grant's always been a really good friend to all of his siblings. Huh, oh, Mama? That's true. No one ever complains about being with Grant. No. Truly. We had to leave our hotel and the omelet bar, and it was so good. Hey, and do you like the omelet station? Yeah. That's awesome. What do you do, Lingen? I only get an omelet with ham. With jam? No, with ham. But that's okay, because our house in Bali is awesome. Super fun. It's hard for boys to go from having food at their disposal yeah. all the time. <laughs> so to they get like, to pick every morning. So like, hey mom and dad, can you please make it for us? Grant started counting they get down. Desperate. Like, how many more omelet bars until we need? That's how he determined how many more days. How many more times do I get to go to the omelet Grant's bar? always sad about leaving. Hey, hey, hopefully this is focused correctly. We are on our way to Sanur, and uh, we're excited. The kids are having fun. What? 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 <laughs> I'm sad that we're leaving. Where are we going, Grant? I don't think we're going anywhere. He's sad about food a lot. He's slightly obsessed with food all the time. I don't know if this is a normal yeah, boy thing. Boy, it's just... <laughs> Some of you are gonna have to let me know if your boys do that. Because he's like goes from like one meal and an instant obsession with the next time he's gonna eat. So tell us, what do your boys obsess over food-wise? What yeah. food do they obsess over? Alright, we'll see ya. Ciao.